Section 2. Making a complaint and having it heard. If a person believes they've been discriminated against unlawfully under any of the nine grounds set out in the introduction section of this video, they may bring a complaint to the Equality Tribunal under the following three acts of Irish law. The Employment Equality Acts, the Equal Status Acts and the Pensions Acts. The Employment Equality Acts make it unlawful to discriminate in relation to employment, including pay, conditions, promotion, access to employment, dismissal and harassment. The Equal Status Acts make it unlawful to discriminate when providing goods and services that are generally available to the public. For example, access to and the use of any place, apart from a licensed premises, which is dealt with in the district court. Banking, insurance, grants, loans, credit or financing, transport or travel. Discrimination in the selling or renting of property is unlawful, as is discrimination in education. The Pensions Acts make it unlawful to discriminate in occupational benefit schemes. Occupational benefits refer to pensions provided by employers for their own employees in a number of different situations, including retirement. When a person makes a complaint, they are known as the complainant. The person or organisation complained about is known as the respondent, as they must respond to the complaint. If you believe you've been discriminated against, the Equality Tribunal has standard forms to help you make a complaint. The forms are available from the Equality Tribunal by post, phone, in person or at www.equalitytribunal.ie. There are different forms and processes to be followed depending on the act under which you are lodging your complaint. But under any of the acts, the complainant has six months from the date of the alleged discrimination occurring to make a complaint to the tribunal. If bringing a complaint under the Equal Status Acts, the complainant must first write to the respondent within two months of the alleged incident, setting out the details of the complaint and their intention to seek a remedy. On receipt of the complaint under any Act, the Equality Tribunal will write to the complainant and let them know that the complaint has been received. We will then send a copy of the complaint form and any other relevant material to the respondent. There are then two ways in which the Tribunal can act on the complaint. Mediation or Investigation The outcomes of both options are legally binding. In mediation, the mediation officer facilitates the complainant and respondent agreeing their own solution to the claim. In investigation, the equality officer will hear the case brought before them and arrive at a binding decision. The following sections bring you through what you can expect from both the mediation and investigation processes.